Does the Washington Post think that Kay Hagan might be in trouble? Washington Post uh, has, has been issuing warning flags about the Hagan campaign all along, and as with other red state Democrats, their challenge is. Are they going to distance themselves from President Obama, who tends to be unpopular in these states? And in North Carolina, he's, his disapproval rating is about 10 points higher than his approval rating. But also, how will they do that? And one, uh, one thing that happened recently was that Senator Hagan released an ad, a very positive ad, in which she said, that unless you're a college basketball fan, you don't have to pick sides. I'm a moderate. I'm a centrist. National Journal relate, you know, rated me the most moderate Democrat in the Senate. And I'm somebody who uh, works with good ideas wherever they come from. Um, Democratic political consultant Thomas Mills, who has crafted these ads in the past, was very disappointed by this ad, he said. Not in, in, on, his, uh, on his blog, he said, the problem with this particular ad is not that it portrays, that Kay Hagan portrays herself in a positive light, but it's that she doesn't say what she's going to do. If she's going to be independent, what is she going to do to separate herself from an unpopular administration in Washington? What is she going to do to shake up the culture in Washington? What she's basically saying here is that I'm beholden to no one. But she doesn't say who Kay Hagan is, basically. She doesn't say why uh, someone should vote for her as opposed to someone else because of what she's going to do in the next term. And so that's, that's the sort of thing that causes Senator Hagan some trouble because she has not been independent of President Obama at all. She has been someone who has basically followed the party line for both President Obama or Harry Reid, the Senate Majority Leader, and that's going to cause her some issues unless she can figure out some specific way she can say, I'm going to be different in the second term.